with her hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. Oakley, you young scamp, that's no neighborly way to act. I didn't mean to scare you that much, neighborly. Well, you did. Say, what are you doing up here by yourself? I'm practicing tracking. Oh, my Nanny and Lofty. They're hiding out on me somewhere around here. See, it's part of a game. Uh... Could it be that you just might happen to have a little bite of something to eat in your pocket? I don't think so, but I'll see. Oh, oh yeah, here's something. Oh, some old jelly beans. They're pretty old, I guess. Well, funny as hard up as I am, can't be too choosy. Thanks, Tag. You're the neighborliest youngster I ever laid eyes on. Thanks a lot, neighborly. What's the use of collecting all this junk like you always do, Neighborly? You must have a couple of tons in your shack by now. Oh, I never can tell when it might come in handy. Waste not, want not. That's what the fella says. Well, I better be going, or Annie will think I'm lost. So long, Neighborly. So long, Tag. Sure, thank you, Tag, but it looks like help came too late. Any luck with the other one, Annie? No. Look out, Lofty. Thanks, Annie. You ever seen this knife thrower before? No, never. What's your name? That won't do you any good. You gotta talk sometime. He's got a bad looking scar in his throat. He could be using it as an alibi for not talking. Well, we've got paper and pencil at the office. Come on, Lofty, bring him in. Lofty caught one of them, Mr. Agnew. Do you know who he might be? No. Didn't he have a satchel with him? No. Why, was there anything valuable in it? $15,000 in cash. 
every penny I collected selling this year's stock for the Cattlemen's Association. Did you make the sale yourself this year? Yes, being secretary of the association, I figured that uh, I could make a better deal for everybody. And I did. And then this holdup happens. This fellow acts like he can't talk, so we're going to take him in to see if he can write. You better come along. All right. but you can't call him stupid. No, you sure couldn't. What does this say, Lofty? I don't tell nothing without no lawyer. He's dumb all right, like a fox. I guess he knows his rights all right. But lawyer Tompkins is over at the county seat, ain't he? Yes, but there's a nice quiet cell for him to wait in. It sure is. And maybe quite a spell before Tompkins gets back. can happen to a man is being a miser. Oh, oh, oh miser! <laughs> Look at all of that money, Charlie. Oh, pretty money. Shouldn't keep it. I won't steal it. Honest, I won't. It ain't neighborly to steal. But when I get my hands on money, I just can't let go. Uh, money, money, money. <laughs> and what good does it do me? I got more in this than the accordion. Lots more. Been there for years. And I got to go around begging jelly beans. More in the accordion. Money, money, money. Ah! <laughs> Shucks. I bet you I got five times more than what's in that satchel. I'm going to take that satchel into town and tell Annie I found it. Ah, uh, but I can't. <laughs> but it ain't neighborly. It ain't neighborly. It ain't neighborly. But you just wait till the folks open up my will after I'm gone. They'll find out that I can be neighborly too, even if I have to die first. <laughs> Where's my will? <laughs> oh, oh, money, money, money. To Tag Oakley, I leave $1,000 hoping that he will always be neighborly, too. Like when he give me the jelly beans. Hell, <laughs> too bad I can't be around after I'm gone when the folks find out what I've done for them, like Tag. Like Tag! Like Tag! Oh, well, I think I'll just put the satchel in the stove for a little while. Ah, oh, miser! Ah, ah, ah! Well, I ain't no thief, and don't you forget it. I'm going to town right now and find out who that money belongs to. Well, I might even get up enough strength to give it back. Ah, ah, ah. Money, money, money! And the money in the stolen satchel was the property of the Diablo Cattlemen's Association. I think that just about covers everything from my report. I can't think of anything else. This sure is going to be tough on me. You know, it could cost me my job. Cheer up, Mr. Agnew. The man we caught shouldn't be too hard to identify when Lofty's report gets to other peace officers. Well, the other hombre has got the money. Yeah, but even if this one's only pretending he can't talk, he's probably tried the trick someplace before. <laughs> if we can find out who he is, we can get a line on his partner. Well, I hope you're right. 
Miss Lawson. Did it strike you that this is the first time the cattleman's money wasn't shipped on the stage with a gun guard? And the first time anybody tried to hold him? Yeah. Why would Agnew take such a chance? I don't know. We should have had somebody riding with him. Hey, Annie! Lofty! I got something here I was kind of thinking of swapping. With a little passion, there's a lot of use in it yet. Well, just what would you like to swap it for, Neighborly? Well, now, I figured maybe a pound of flour or a, maybe a half a pound. Well, I think we can spread the flour. I almost stopped a hold up after I saw you, Neighborly. What? Is Neighborly up there? Sure. I was talking to him just before I saw the outlaws. Did you get a look at him, Neighborly? Well, uh, uh, I did see a fellow with a mask on. Who was it that got robbed? Fred Agnew. This man you saw, did he have a satchel? No, he didn't have no satchel. Neighborly, we've got one of the outlaws inside. Come on in and take a look at him while I get your flower. Do you know this man? No, ma'am. Thought I had on a different shirt and a different bill. Well, we'll get him, too. He sure is a mean-looking cuss. Here you are, Neighborly. And you'll let us know if you find the other one. Won't you? I sure will. And this is right neighborly of you. Say, how much was in this satchel? Fifteen thousand dollars. Fifteen thousand? Say, that's a fair parcel of money. You know, I was just thinking that if Agnew would put up a sizable reward, maybe the fellow would change his mind. That is, if he don't want to go again the law any more than he has to. An idea, Neighborly. I'll tell Agnew. Yeah. So long. So long. Right. Well, what do you make of that, Deputy Craig? Well, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, well, I don't know I... myself what I'm thinking yet, but I've never seen Neighborly so nervous. And he's suggesting that big reward. Ha! Ah, it's a local idea. Maybe he wouldn't steal anything. Shucks, no! Well, I'm gonna go out and have a look around his place without his knowing it. Now, wait a minute. Oh, it's all right. I just want to scout around a little bit, and you'd better keep an eye on our talkative friend. Yeah. Here, Rocky. Can I come, Annie? You can't. You promised to stay out of trouble. <laughs> when Silent and me split up. When I went back, it was gone, and so was Silent. Maybe he double-crossed us. They caught him. He didn't have it. He's in jail. He could have hit it somewhere else. Yeah. I saw Annie ride out a while ago, like she had to get someplace fast. Maybe Silent told her where it is. But he can't talk. He can write. Sure. We've got to get Silent out of jail. I've waited a long time to make a haul like this, and I'm not going to be done out of it now. We've got to get him out. Sounds nice and easy. We can do it, monks. Lofty's there all alone. And I know the layout of the place like it was my own. All right. We'll need a horse for you and Simon. I got a couple outside. Now, you wait here till I settle up, and I'll tell you how we work it. Oh, Lofty. I'd come inside, but some of the ratchets from the association are on the way, and I don't want to miss them. Anything new? That's what I was going to ask you. I saw Annie right out a while ago, like she had some place to go fast. And I thought maybe something propped up that I could tell the member. Not a thing, Fred. Annie just had a hunch to go scouting around. You know how women are with their hunches, especially Annie. Sure. Well, it's too bad. I was just kind of hoping. Step inside, Sheriff. Slow. Don't turn around. Close the door. Reach. Now you can turn around. All right, move. Open the cell. Open it yourself. 
Tough hombre, eh, Sheriff? Well, don't get too tough. Which key? Try him and find out. If the outlaw's hiding it isn't here, there'd be a horse around somewhere. Howdy, howdy, howdy! There's nobody in sight. That's what old Charlie always says when he's lonesome. <laughs> howdy, Charlie! Howdy, howdy, howdy! Everything's the same in here. Well, come on, then. I want to take a look around and see if I can pick up a trail. Can I stay here and play with Charlie? All right, Tag. But when Neighborly gets back, don't tell him what we were thinking. I won't. Threw it right here. And Silent saw you? Then he must have been the one who picked it up. I wouldn't rile him if I were you, Agno. Silent said he didn't pick it up, he didn't. Well, it's doggone funny. It's a sick I mean loft he didn't pick it up. Let me have a look. I know it wasn't you, Silent. I've got it! Got it? Where? Look at that track. Only one wheel. What's got only one wheel? A wheelbarrow. Oh, I know you're plumb loco. It was Neighborly Walsh who found it, that's who. Who's Neighborly Walsh? I'll tell you on the way over to his place. We've as good as got that satchel back. Come on, load up. Talking to a parrot. Ah! In the stove! In the stove! In the stove? I'm no thief! I'm no thief! I'm no thief! The satchel! Gosh, Charlie, maybe you can't think, but you sure know what you're talking about. I gotta go find Danny. Ah! What do you think? I done it. I mean, uh, I ain't exactly done it yet, but I'm gonna do it as sure as shooting. I'm gonna give that stolen money back. Beautiful dreamer! Ah! Miser! Sure, but I ain't no thief. I got to thinking and thinking, and then suddenly, I seen the light. And as soon as I fix myself a skillet full of these flapjacks, I'm gonna take the satchel to Annie and Lofty. Money, money, money! Ah! Oh, stop that, Charlie. Don't tip me, will you? Where's that satchel? Uh, what, uh, what satchel? Don't stall us. We know you got it. Ah, satchel, satchel! 
You got no more right to it than I have. I'm going to give you to the count of three. One. Well, I ain't going to tell you. And you'll never find out if you shoot me. Stop! In the accordion! Money! 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 No, no, no. No, it's not in the accordion. That's so. Bert seems to make enough sense to get you scared. Oh, please, sir. It's not in the accordion. It's in the stove. I'll get it for you. It's gone. But I put it there. Ah! Look at this squeeze box. Oh, no, no, no. No, look, it's not... There a... it is, Agnew. Oh, that's not your money. That's my money. You've got no right to that money. Give me that for you. It's all your fault, you dead blame, blah, 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 big blah, 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 blabbermouth. Honey, honey, I've been robbed. I've got the satchel. And not that, my own money. I knew and two other fellas took it, they just left. Neighborly, you never had any money. Oh, yes, I did, Annie. Lots of it. I've been saving for a rainy day. I kept it in my old accordion. And if you didn't see those two jasters, they must have took the North Trail. Go after them, Annie. Please go after them, Annie. Stay with neighborly tax. <laughs> Shoot her, but we can outsmart her. I'll stay here and keep her busy. You two boys circle around and get her from the side. Around there. Go on, hurry up. Put your hands down, Agnew, to pick up the money. Hey, Danny. Lofty, where did you come from? Well, these two Jaspers put me to sleep nice and comfortable. But I had a dream you needed help. Oh, that's the best dream you ever had. Thanks. All right, get on your horses. Oh, oh, money, money, money. Shut up, Charlie. <laughs> now, as I was saying, I always was ashamed of being a miser. But I just couldn't help it. <laughs> You still expect folks to be neighborly to you while you're alive, and then you not do anything for them until after you're dead? No. What I went through cured me. I'm gonna spend that money doing good and make folks happy while I'm alive. Ah, oh, that's the stuff. Say, you could buy a big ranch and bring kids from the city. Beautiful dream! Ah! Miser! <laughs> Miser! Now you stop saying that, you blabbermouth. <laughs> <laughs> 